All right, so welcome to the Beginner's Guide of Learnist. Their site is not learnist.com, it's learni.st, just so you know. So what is Learnist? It's a lot like Pinterest, only with an educational slant. So really Learnist is great if you're a teacher, student, administrator of a school, a superintendent, or really just involved in education in any way. Uh, but really it's also good for anybody looking to learn about just about anything from art and design to technology to food and drinks and business, as you can see. So we're going to go through just how it all works. So basically we're just going to go to Learnist, not Learnist.com again, and it'll bring you to just a few featured pages and stuff. Uh, basically it works a lot like Pinterest and you can make your own learning boards rather than pin boards and you can learn things rather than pin things and you can still follow boards and all that good stuff. So how does it work? Let's start it from scratch. Right now we have just the generic account right here and let's say we actually want to sign up. We like what we see. We'll hit sign up. We'll hit create an account. Oh, forgot to enter that in. Sorry. We'll connect with Facebook. How does that sound? So connect with Facebook. I'm already logged into Facebook, just so you know. We'll hit OK. And OK again, just saying that Learnist would like to post publicly on our behalf. We don't have to let that happen, obviously, but you, of course, can. Uh, and then it's just going to walk you through a few things over how to actually create your own you know, personalized feed. So let's say we like science, we want to follow information about learning, but we also like graphic design, painting, photography, and we're really interested in education and civil rights, just for good measure. Okay, so it added all these tags right up here. And now that we're done with that, we can just hit done and it'll bring us to the landing page. So it already knows my name, thanks to Facebook, and it pulled in the profile picture that I have as well. You can always change it, just mouse over it and click edit photo. Uh, since we logged in with Facebook, we could find our friends on here. And if we wanted to, we could sync it with Gmail too, or connect with Gmail where we can find our Gmail friends. But we're not gonna bother doing that right now because this is just an early walkthrough. And next step is to add a biography. So pretty cool. Uh, the Modern Lessons Guy. And then you don't have to hit anything. You can just click off of it, which is pretty handy. And now we're going to actually go through and figure out what we can do with Learnist. So as you can see, it makes you a pretty nice profile, but we want to do more than that. So we're going to start searching for stuff. So let's search for science. Isn't that exciting? Who doesn't love science? Uh, it'll show you a ton of learning pins that people have done. Uh, and that's really simple to do. So we'll just click on science education right here. And this is what a pin board looks like. It's not uh, a single pin or a learning board, sorry. It's uh, what basically this person's entire list of things that they've learned using their learn it button or bookmarklet, whatever you want to call it. So really you can just scroll down and see what they've been doing. You can always click on uh, any of the titles and it'll link to that article that the person learned. So how do we get a learning uh, pin? We really want that. It's, so it's, it's called a bookmarklet and you can just click on add and we can just install the Learnist bookmarklet. See it down there on the bottom? Pretty handy. So just like Pinterest, you can just drag this, drag me to your toolbar. That's right up here. So we'll just hit learn. Pretty cool. All right, so now let's say that we want to start learning stuff. You can click learn and it'll pull in the information about that page. I had this other page already ready to go, but you can use this anywhere on the web. Let's say this image is the one that we want to use. We'll just hit next and it really walks us through this whole thing. So we'll just put it on a new board and hit create learning. So in order to do that, we'll have to make a learning board learning board okay and category art and design collaborators that's if you have connections with people don't really need to do that nor do you have to do a description so we'll just type in test for right now we can always go back and edit later 
there we go. So learning added. Let's see what it looks like. This is our big first uh, learning pin that we've done. And as you can see, it already pulls in the image, which is nice. And it already pulls in the caption. And it also shows you different ways that you can share this kind of stuff. So it has a bunch of Facebook shares. You can obviously use Pinterest and all that stuff. So let's say whoever made this board, it just happens to be us, but we really like them and what they're doing. We can hit follow and that will add them to our stream. So we'll follow this board and it'll show up on our main profile page. So when we go back to the home page, it'll show up. We can also hit the like button over here and that will just show that we like it. It doesn't really add it to your profile or anything like that. Um, so as you can see, um, you, you have all your boards now. There's our Learnest board that we just added and the likes uh, are also tracked there too. And now we also are following it as you recall. So Learnest board is right there. So here's what our board looks like again, pretty snazzy. And you can always go in and tweak what, your, what you look like and start gaining more followers and stuff. The main way to do that is uh, Facebook and Gmail, but really it's to just go and do some searches for fun stuff and then find out the people who are pinning or learning fun stuff and then start following them. It's as simple as that. We'll be back later with talking about all the settings and the different categories and some other tidbits that you should know about Learnest. Thanks for watching.